Hi, I'm Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. And we're going to show you how to make these crystal wrap earrings. You're not going to believe how easy it is to make such a pretty pair of earrings. Let's get started. Here are the tools and materials you need to make crystal wrapped earrings. For tools, you only need one tool, and that's wire cutters. Then you need two hoop earrings. These are from a craft store, but you could also get them at a department store. And you need bicone crystal beads. These are faceted bicone crystals by Swarovski. We like Swarovski because um, they're very light and faceted and glamorous. And these are three millimeters in size. Um, we need 14 per earring for our hoops, but if your hoops are bigger, you might need more bicones. So be sure to adjust your amount based on the size of your hoops. And then finally, we need wire. And this is silver plated wire from the craft store. You could also get it at your local bead shop. It's different from bead stringing wire. This is plain old wire. It's 26 gauge, and that's important because that tells us how thin the wire is. The higher the number, the thinner the gauge the lower the number, the thicker. So this ring is probably 14 gauge. We want 26 gauge, it's very thin, and as it says here on the package, it's ideal for wire wrapping. The first thing you need to do is cut a piece of wire. So we cut a piece about 10 or 12 inches long. It'll be a little too long, but it's better to be too long than too short, because you can't add wire. And we're going to start wrapping the wire at the very front end of the earring, just before um, where, the, where the part goes in your ear. And I'm just going to wrap it around three times. And these wraps are not right next to each other, and they don't need to be because I can push them together with my fingers like this. And we'll do that the whole time we're working on this earring. We'll push the wires together. And this big tail here we're going to trim off at the end. So I've got that wrapped around three times, and I'm going to feed on a bicone onto the end of the wire. We chose bicone crystal beads because they have the little flat side that sits nicely up against the, the um, wire of the hoop. So that's the bicone is sitting there. I'm going to hold it in place, and then I'm just going to take the wire. I'm going to go into the hoop two times, one, two, and then I can just push the bicone into place where I want it and add another bead after that. So there are two wraps between each of the bicones. And this one's sitting just the same way where the flat side is up against the earring. And then I go around it two times. One, two. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> the earring, the bicones look like they're sticking up a little bit, but once you get all of them in place, they end up making like a sort of smooth edge. They're not they're sticking like, out. They're marching in a line. Exactly. So here's the third one, and I push that up against the earring hoop, and then I go around twice, one, two. And now I can start pushing this back up to the beginning of the earring, the front part of the earring. And I can push these closer together to make more room. See how the wires go close together when I push them? It's very flexible wire. And it's a good idea to keep sort of pushing them together and pushing them toward the front of the earring so that you can get all of the bicones on the, on the hoop. I love the color of these. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the contrast of that, that blue against the silver. And you could do all kinds of um, different bead choices with this kind of earring. You could do a plain crystal, uh, just sort of as an everyday earring. Or do um, you could choose faceted bicone crystal AB um, beads. And the crystal AB is like that aurora borealis rainbow. It's kind of that oil look. slick look. When you put them in the light, the colors show up. Those would be great for a bridal party, like bridesmaid's gift. That's a good idea. And they're really fast. You can see I'm almost done with one of these. So that would be, it's a good gift pair of earrings because it looks pretty. It looks harder than it is. It'd be fun to do an, a color merge, like an ombre um, pair, just because it's so trendy right now. Start at the front with like a light white crystal and and do a couple in that color and then go on to a light gray and then a slightly darker gray oh, and all the, way to, all the way to black. That'd be cool. There are lots of options. You could do, you can mix up the colors of the metal. You could do copper, metal, you could do silver, you could do gold, and then you can mix up all the colors of the Swarovski crystals. They're so pretty. 
And these Swarovski crystals you can get at your local bead store or at any craft store. Just about any craft store. Yeah. So I'm just pushing those closer together. It's all very flexible. Making room to add a few more down here at the end. Wrapped around twice. Feet on a bicone. Set it up against the hoop. Wrap it around twice. I'm just going into the hoop, out of the hoop. Oops, my tail's in the way. Into the hoop and out. That's two loops. These come together so quickly. That's looking really pretty. So we should have room for 14 on here, let's say. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, with room for three more. So this is where the scrunching... I'm going to scrunch them up. Because we made another pair. They're really pretty. Jennifer made them with amber bicones. Whoops. And that one, that pair was the same size and took 14 crystals. So, And they're, they're pretty when they're really close together like that. This wire is it's so nice that it's so flexible because there's there's really you know lots of lots of room for uh, making mistakes or scrunching things yeah, up or really mush things around. So I'll push those a little bit closer together. And not much of the wire shows. Um, so you know with this especially with this thin gauge, this twenty six gauge. But you see a little bit of it with the wrap, so it's you. If you want something that's more contrasty, like Kitty was saying, you could use a different um, color wire. You could use copper or gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think we'll end at thirteen. That sounds good. That looks that good. looks nice so and tight. I did two wraps there because I did two wraps after every bicone, but I'm going to do three at the very end. So I'm going to add one more wrap around to match what I did at the front here, which is three. That's just a little more secure. And now all I need to do is trim the wire. And to do that, I'm gonna use the only tool you need, which are the wire cutters. And there's a flat side or flush side, and then this V-shaped side. And we're gonna hold the flat side against the project, and that'll give us a flat cut. Whereas if we cut with the V side, we would get a pointy piece of wire, and that would could be painful. I'm holding onto this tail so it doesn't fly off when I cut it, and then I just cut the other side. And that gives you a nice tidy end. And now all you need to do is bead your second hoop, just like we did the first one, and you will have your pair of crystal wrapped earrings. Our earrings are all finished. And they are so sparkly. Now you can make your own crystal wrapped earrings.